CJ, that's a pretty good few days on the road. Big win in Perth and coming into this building and ending their winning streak. That was pretty impressive. No, thank you. Um, I think uh, the boys, uh, we set out to, for this goal and I think uh, to be able to achieve it's definitely good. I thought the effort and energy, the focus, um, as I said, after the Perth game was really good and I think it carried over. It was a slow start. Uh, we, we finished, uh, we, we started like we played, like we finished in Perth and I think, uh, I don't know if it's tired legs or, or whatever, but I thought the shots that we took were good. Um, you know, Martin didn't play, like we can state the obvious and certain guys didn't play, but you can only win against who you're playing against and I thought our boys were up for the challenge all the way through and you know I had to, I had to go deep in the bench and use everyone and everyone contributed as they did all weekend and it was, yeah, in the end we got great results. It really looks like you're starting to figure things out and maybe it looks like the team is starting to play the style you wanted them to play and it was naturally going to take some time given the circumstances but you're finishing the season with, with some momentum and plenty of positivity I think. Well, that's, what you, that's all you can hope for. I think um, right now, I'm giving you best effort. We represent the 36ers. We represent our sponsors uh, and our families. And I think um, no one wants to go out losing ball games, and no one's trying to do that. Everyone's trying to do the right thing. Everyone's heart's in the right place. And, um, yeah, proud of what we have achieved right now, but our season's not over with. So um, I am happy uh, and happy for this guy here, uh, happy for all our players and... Um, look forward to the next challenge next week. It was a potentially daunting finish to the season with these four road games, but all of a sudden you must be feeling good about the potential for next weekend and finishing with some momentum because, it, to be honest, it doesn't get tougher than trying to win in Perth and, and in Sydney, and you, you've now kicked that off. Yeah, I think um, road wins hasn't been our, our strength this year. Um, and I think, the, as I said to you, the focus has been really strong um, not that we've shortened anything. I think just the understanding of what's to ask of you. We've done it for longer periods. We've also made shots. You know, like like any game, if you can have scoreboard pressure, it helps. And um, we're taking the right shots, and we, we've knocked down a few more than we did early in the year. And when you've got a lead, it's you know you're not fighting from behind, ten points or fifteen points, uh, and using all that energy. So uh, we've done a good job to get a lead and build a lead uh, and hold it for a little bit longer. Um, and I think uh, overall our, the completeness of um, the scout and the individual player scout was really good. I want to get your thoughts on Zach Katona because he's someone who has sacrificed a lot to get this chance and <laughs> he professionally paid his own way to be a training player he did. last season. He's got a development player spot officially this year. He's waited for his chance and... You know, he's done what he's done similar things at state league level, but yes. now he's come out and shown what he can do on an NBL floor today, and it was fantastic to see. Definitely was. Um, I'm, I'm proud. Of, like I said, I'm proud of everyone, but yeah, definitely uh, Zach, as you just said there, um, being a development player. His father was a, a basketball player and a, and a legend in, in his own right, playing for his country, and uh, to see Zach. Uh, follow his footsteps and want to be a pro. He ticked that first box of uh, being professional and playing in front of his family. And I wanted to give him that opportunity to he show, showcase his talent every week of practice. And as you know, as a development player, it's kind of hard to scratch the floor when you've got a lot of guys in front of you and you've also got to learn the ropes. I think the NBL level to the NBL, is, it's, it's not even. And for a lot of these guys, it takes a little adjustment um, to understand what's asked of them in the training five days a week or four days a week, whatever it may be. But Zach's always brought the energy. Uh, he's always played tough, and I knew he could shoot a ball. He turned down a couple shots, and you know, sometimes you need someone to tell you to shoot it. But he's one that I don't think I have to tell to shoot it very often, right? But um, he he played well, and his energy is always great. Uh, he's been a great teammate, and we love having him. And Dusty, um, a week ago there was probably, I know you were hoping to finish the season well, but there was no guarantee you would actually get back on the floor. And all of a sudden you've had two huge games personally and been a big part of two big wins. It must be a, must be a good feeling right now. Yeah, you know, no one likes to be out. Um, you know, playing basketball is what I love to do still. You know, I'm blessed to be able to do it and get paid at 28 years old. I hope to keep doing it for the next, you know, I guess seven years, I guess, would be pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, you know, just glad I could go out there, help help the team win. Um, 
really enjoy getting to know this whole organization, all my teammates, everybody. So uh, just for us to finish strong and have fond memories of each other. It looks like you guys are really enjoying playing together right now. Obviously, when you win, it's enjoyable, but it yeah. looks like the chemistry's building. It looks like you're having fun. It looks like you're a close group. Is that, is that how, how it feels? Yeah, you know, we've we've had a lot of nail biters that just haven't gone our way this year. Like, I mean, a ton, it feels like. So, you know, like I said, just for us to finish strong with some wins and, um, you know, not go out on a bad note. We're, like, hanging our heads and wanting to get out of here. It's more about us coming together for a strong finish, like Coach has been telling us. And, uh, you know, we've been following through on that. How have you stayed positive throughout this whole season? It's obviously had its ups and downs for you personally, and you're a long way from home. I mean, how have you stayed positive and... How have you still put yourself in a position where you can come out and, and play well? Um, you know, it's just one of those things in a career, you're going to have highs and lows. You know, you, only God controls how long that, that may go. You know, my dad always told me one game doesn't make a season, one season doesn't make a career. So, you know, for me, it's just coming to work every day, being a professional and controlling the things that I can. And I guess no reason you can't get two more wins next weekend either to, to finish off. Why not, man? Uh, you say, Jane, what are your thoughts now on the last two games? Still on the road for, for next week. Yeah, we've we got to go back and revisit where, where Phoenix is at right now and, and then short and sharp, quick turnaround to play New Zealand. But um, one game at a time, I think, uh, preparing for them. They, they played well against the Jack Jumpers. Clearly, it was a very close game. And while we got them at home, it's to make sure that you know we, we take away some of their strengths again, as, as always, and limit, limit some of their key guys. So it'll be, um, it'll be a battle, but I'm looking forward to that challenge. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Would anyone else like to jump in? No, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks. Take care.